start with moisturizing and I use this also as my primer as well because I don't use primer. Um, I use the CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion. What I like about this one is that it has sunscreen which is very very important for your skin because especially in the summer, if you live in South Dakota where I live, oh my god it is so screeching hot outside it's insane. Look at that dewiness that this moisturizer gives you. I love it. I think it's like so pretty. Now that our moisturizer is on and my skin looks all dewy and like that wet look that I like, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and put some chapsticks on because I am a lip peeler. I have a very bad habit of either like lip biting or peeling my lips whenever I'm stressed or whenever I'm bored. It's just been a habit since a little kid. So lipstick does not go well on chapped lips. So we need to For base, I use, okay, I've always had trouble finding the right color or the right tone for my skin as goes for foundation, um, but I think I finally found one. Uh, this is the ELF Flawless Satin, or Satin, I suck at pronouncing English words, please help me, <laughs> foundation, um, in the uh, shade Nude. I feel like I'm no makeup artist, I honestly can't do makeup at all, but I think that makeup is just like a learning, it's like a trial and error process. I suck at becoming very creative sometimes, especially when it comes to like hands-on arts, like I can't draw for the life of me, I can't, like I can't draw. But I feel like with makeup you are free to do whatever you want and your face is your canvas. And growing up and watching so many beauty creators and watching my own family, like members like my mom or like my brother's girlfriend, like do their makeup, I've learned some tricks, I like to say. I feel like my makeup before now it's very different. My makeup was very different from when I started using makeup to now. When I started using makeup, it was more bold, more than it is now. More Now it's like more natural. That was very bold and dark <laughs> for no reason. The longest eyeliner, that was also very sharp and bold. Like everything was just popping out like bold, which wasn't really necessary because I didn't pull off the look. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take concealer and conceal my well, my under eyes aren't really that bad. I usually do this a lot when I'm in school because I stay up really, really late. So you need to like hide that from people so people don't think that like, why is this girl staying up so late? Um, <laughs> but I've been sleeping really early lately, so my eyes are kind of fine. But we're just gonna go ahead and conceal this area. Any pimples I might have, any blemishes I have in my face, um, like these annoying pimples up here. I mean, they're not gonna go away with this, but they're going to help a little bit. This is just some concealer I found at Walmart. Drugstore makeup are always the best. I always see people doing crazy like shapes with their concealers. All I literally do is make lines. That's literally it. Okay, our face base makeup is set and now we're ready to go into um, some eyebrows. So how I usually do my eyebrows is I outline my original eyebrow shape already and then I just color it in, I really don't do anything special. So this looks like a little bit messy, so what we're going to do now is my tip, which is like my lifesaver all the time, I love q-tips. We're going to go into the q-tip and just go ahead and remove any excess eyebrow coloring and whatever that we don't want. This helps clean up the brows. It makes them look more defined and sharp. Like so. Okay, eyebrows are done. Moving on to eyeshadow, which I've been waiting for. So, for eyeshadow, thank you so much to Style Korean for choosing me for the Chime review. I was one of the lucky um, recipients of this review collection, and I'm very, very so excited. I'm very, very thankful. So, thank you so much. Um, they had a review of their new Rom and um, collections. They were cool tones and warm, warm tones. I'm a very warm tone person, as you can tell. So, this is the Dry Mango Tulip Better Than Eyes um, eyeshadow palette. It 
it and dip into the shade first. I'm going to use my fingers and just get a load of that on my fingers. They're very, very pigmented, you guys. They're so, so nice. I'm going to use my base color. I'm just going to put this all over my lid. When it comes to eyeshadow and eye makeup, I'm very, very natural with it because I suck at doing anything creative on it. And I suck at blending. So... I usually use my fingers a lot and just kind of put colors where they need to be and then for like the outer corners like that which you guys will see me do um, I use a brush and just go in and blend them. We're going to use this base color first to make everything just kind of neutral and matte. And then we're going to go in with my brush and we're going to go into this dark color right here and just put this in my outer corners. I'm gonna go in with this glittery color on my inner corner. Okay, so that is mostly all for my eyeshadow. Moving on to eyeliner, which I cannot live without because eyeliner is amazing. Eyeliner and me have had some wild pass. Um, I used to do very long eyeliner that was very bold and sharp, and then I used to do like very like the most petite eyeliner wing ever and now i feel like mine's my, my eyeliner is pretty like balanced out so how i usually do it is um i realize now that they're supposed to be sisters not twins um which helped me a lot but we're gonna go ahead and just fill in my lash line first and then draw a wing and then connect and then fill in and then we're gonna go in with our q-tip and just clean up any mistakes we made I just like to make my lines not harsh. Yeah. Okay, time for some mascara. But first, we're gonna go ahead and curl our lashes. I used to be so scared of curling my lashes before. I knew exactly what to do and how not to hurt myself with it. It always just looks so scary to me. I'm so glad I'm deciding to do this at like early in the morning. You guys, it's like six in the morning right now. Oh my God. Yesterday I tried recording this video and I did this at like nine. Bad mistake. It was so hot. My makeup was like not having it. And we are done with the eyes. Moving on to blush, which I've been in love with blushes lately. So this is also the Better Than Cheek from the collection of Ramen. This is the peach chip color or shade. So adorable. Look at the color, it's so nice. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, usually on a daily basis, where's my other one? I usually use this one. As you can tell, it's like almost out. <laughs> this is the Elf Rose Balm color. I've been obsessing with blush lately. This is so, so pretty. We're gonna go ahead and mix colors today because I really wanna show you guys what this looks like on the skin, but I also wanna put more of this because as much as this is really, really nice, um, I am a blush lover, so my blush is like a little bit more intense and this is a little too white for me, but we're gonna go ahead and put this one on first. I usually just put it on my cheekbones. A little swipe. On my nose, on my chin, and then along my jawline, moving on to my neck. You get this really nice, like, light rose kind of gleam, or like a little bit of color, but it's not that pigmented as I like which I'm sure for like some other makeup like it's very very light makeup you can get away with it because it will look really nice on your skin but um <laughs> she likes a little bit more blushy blush so I could just double up on this but I'm gonna go ahead and go end of my rose balm 
which is oh so amazing. I've been doing this thing where I put like blush on my nose. I just like it. I think it's like really cute, and I kind of just think it gives your face like a nice glow, especially when the sun's hitting it. So. Is the best tint collection these are the warm tone picks from ramen as well by the way super gorgeous i've been using this like literally every single day it comes in the color julie bead um i think this is eat doctor and then this is the uh zero velvet tint we're gonna go and be using eat doctor today but we need a color underneath if we put this bad boy on too much this color is just so, so pretty, and I like it a lot because the red is very, very pigmented and very bold, which I like a lot. So we're going to go ahead and just put this on my bottom lip. Just a little to make my lips have that, like, rosy red color first. What I like about this tint is that it stays on all day. It's so nice. It smells amazing. And also, I like lipsticks, especially like lip tints that stay on even when you're eating, when you're drinking something. This does the trick, which I love because I don't like how my lipstick gets everywhere. And then take my fingers and smudge the color to make it more even. 